hey guys uh, so welcome back to this piece here um this was my instagram live stream drawing uh picture in my sketchbook and in this one i'm going to be coloring it with some marker and some paint uh this is a digital like pre pre-pressed <laughs> this is a digital uh, part of it that I did uh, just to plan out the colors. I'll show you the end at the end what um, I did to uh, Kind of plan out this piece in what colors on my phone I just took a picture of it and then colored it digitally uh, Just to see where I might lay down some of the colors when I do this with my markers and my paints so some of my friends were asking me to do some live streams uh, while in quarantine I'm actually not in quarantine anymore, but um, when I did this, I was, and I miss it so much. I want to go back. <laughs> not to make light of the situation or anything, but, like, I was really enjoying the time away. And, like, just because this is kind of what I want to do, you know, with my life. <laughs> like, I want to be an independent artist, and I want to be able to support myself with my art. So having the opportunity to do that um during this quarantine was really eye-opening for me and really kind of pointed me in the direction that i wanted to go in which i already knew i wanted to do it but i never knew for sure that i would be i guess able to do it like i learned that i could stay home for extended um, amounts of time um days weeks months without leaving the house at first it was difficult but i got really got used to it i really got used to just being home and seeking inspiration and drawing i was still like you know a lot of artists experienced a lot of kind of nervousness and anxiousness which i also experienced so it was hard to concentrate for as long as i wanted to you know on a normal you know back in normal days um i could probably have done this for a lot longer but the fact that there was things going on in the world that were affecting you know me mentally was making it hard to like concentrate for as long as i wanted to so i i feel bad that i didn't get to do as much as i was maybe physically able to do uh just because of the mental strain of being in the pandemic and being um nervous and anxious about the world and what was going to happen with you know my life in particular you know where was where was i going to go you know was i going to have a job after this um you know was i going to be able to make money after this i didn't know how long this was going to last so there were concerns of course but you know putting those aside for the moment and just getting it through day by day i was really you know rather enjoying that i could you know wake up and just sit and draw for a while and then you know watch a little tv get a little inspiration cook for myself you know clean up a little bit i'm not the best cleaner in the world but <laughs> um you know i did a little bit here and there i really got into wine drinking um i started sampling some wines and and having them at home there was something about being alone and being um uh, being in my thoughts that I, I didn't mind, but realized that, you know, once I could, once I could get navigate the day without stressing out, I think I rather, I rather enjoyed, you know, having a little nightcap or something, having a glass of wine, which was really nice. And something that I don't normally do, like I hardly ever drink, I hardly ever go out, I don't really like bars and clubs and when i do drink you know it's because i don't really like the the situations of being um socially active and they make me nervous they make me anxious and so usually i feel like i have to drink to like get through the situations and to kind of like loosen up and be myself and and be you know, like a normal human being when other people are just like fine having fun and going out and being crazy uh i haven't i haven't been that way since high school so um anyways <laughs> uh not to get you know too much off topic um i don't really have a, like a plan of topics here to like discuss or anything i kind of just want to hang out with you guys and uh chill and paint and draw while um while i sit here and listen to the fireworks actually i'm editing this during fourth of july I don't really much feel like celebrating 4th of July with everything that's going on. Um, I do think that 
a lot of stuff needs to change in the world and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm kind of looking forward to change happening and I hope I hope everybody is 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 cool and can find, you know, some peace in the changes that 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 are made because I think they're long overdue and I think that um everyone can kind of take part in creating, you know, a society that we all are welcome in and can live in and and you know I just think that it's it's really important that this change is happening right now and not to sound like unpatriotic or whatever like I was never ever really like some super patriotic person you know of course I love that I was I've had the opportunity and the privilege to be born here you know and my family um you know being descendants of you know Native Americans and uh, coming over from Mexico like four generations ago, you know, you know, all my family that I've ever known has has lived here in Texas for like forever. So I don't really know anything different, but I've always been really fascinated with like my culture and learning my language and learning um, like where my family's from and, and getting to like go actually to Mexico and and explore and like kind of just take it all in it was super super inspiring for me and I I want to still do some artwork and some uh like kind of like a travel guide or something uh is what I was thinking about when I was taking a lot of the pictures that I took there and getting inspired by the art that I got inspired there but all that to say <laughs> that I am looking forward to some of the changes that are way way overdue right now but um uh during the beginning of this live stream i didn't have uh well i had some viewers but i didn't have like a lot and there just wasn't a lot of conversation going on so like in the if you watch the last live stream that i posted uh i kind of just left it quiet and i think that i in this one i want to fill some of that space this video is a little bit longer so i kind of just wanted to talk to you guys and let you listen to me rant about certain things if you don't mind if not you can just kind of like turn me down and listen to your own music or whatever you want to do just enjoy me like creating this piece um and since there wasn't like a lot of conversation going on in the beginning i thought that i would just kind of chat about you know things going on with me right now and you know maybe a few art things uh, our topics or whatever going on but like I said I'm kind of just sitting here in the studio and listening to the fireworks happen outside it's about like 10 30 at night and I'm really hungry I didn't get to eat <laughs> but um what I wanted to say that is I'm gonna be kind of in and out I guess the me that is speaking in the video at the at the moment I'm you know drawing and painting this and then there's the me that is editing it, you know, months later. Um, so I'm going to be in and out. You'll hear the audio of when I'm actually speaking. I was looking for the video, the original like video or whatever, where you, I could see like comments or comments that were being made while I was doing this. I don't think I'm going to be able to find that. Um so I guess I'll I'll put in on screen some of the questions or things that were being said on in the chat at the time so that you kind of know what I'm responding to. I think that'll help kind of <laughs> uh, understand things a little better and like kind of fill you in and not let you be out of the loop while I'm like laughing about something. If you didn't see the drawing vi- vi- version of this, uh, I can link it below where I'm actually drawing this on live stream. And you can watch that. It's a pretty quiet video, but it might make more sense um, if you wanted to see that part of the video, actually. All right, so I'm going to pour my glass of wine. And I promise I'm not going to get too drunk while I record this. But uh, (laughs) um, I did tell everyone that I would be having my little glass of wine tonight because don't have any plans to go out. Uh, Don't really want to hang around a bunch of people. I feel like it's bad enough that I have to go back to my day job and be around a lot of people and it's kind of nerve-wracking but I just don't think that me staying home is going to be very sustainable and I would rather 
have my job at the end of the day just to be able to like pay my bills and have my apartment and be able to continue working on art uh, on the side like I've been doing. It's kind of heartbreaking in that sense, but uh, there's bigger things going on in the world and there's bigger problems. So, you know, I'm not like not too stressed out about it. I just wish that it would like I wish that I could change things a little bit faster. Um, but I hope everybody's doing okay. And I hope that like whatever changes have happened during this quarantine, that everybody's getting it, getting through it and, you know, still has hope in the future and, and hope for our country. And, um, leaning on your friends and supporting each other and all that stuff. Like, um, I hope you're doing fine and everything is going okay for you guys. Well, not to be mushy or anything, but yeah. On another note, this wine doesn't really taste that good. <laughs> I joked with my friends that I was gonna start like um like a wine chan like a wine, I guess, series or whatever on my channel where I'm like maybe making art and testing out wine or something. This particular one is Taylor Fladgate fine ruby porto which was supposed to be like a, um, a port wine which was recommended to me by a friend a long long time ago um because it was sweet and i at the time i didn't really like sweet alcohol or i mean i like sweet alcohol and i wasn't really into like uh dry wines or anything like that or hard liquors or i, I had to have like cocktail drinks i had to have sweet drinks at the time and so they recommended me to drink port um, that was years and years ago, and I actually never ever, ever did it. And so since I started to drink wine recently, uh, I've been trying out different ones. And so I've tried port, I think, a couple of times now. And I'm really not a fan of the sweetness now. Like, I'm not into it. I don't get it. I mean, this one is like, a, like I said, it's a port, so it's a, it's a red. And it just, it's a heavy red, a heavy sweet. And it just tastes more like it's uh, like a cough syrup, like kind of like a liqueur would taste like a cough syrup. It's just too heavy and thick and sweet. And so I'm going to get through it <laughs> like a whole bottle. And I like me and my friend tasted it. And it's just not what I wanted. Not what I want anymore, I guess I should say. So um, I'm just going to get through it. I bought it and I want to finish it and so I can move on to something else. I did realize, however, that I am a uh, Pinot Noir type wine drinker. That is the only one that I've actually really, really liked. Um, but there's a few that I haven't tried yet. I haven't tried a Chardonnay. And there's, of course, plenty of other brands of ones that I have tried that I that I want to try that I can give a chance or whatever. But so far, my favorite has been like the Underwood Pinot Noir and the Hobnob Pinot Noir. I also got some sangria, which was really good, like a sparkling sangria. And then I want to try like a just a straight regular sangria. But the sparkling one was really, really good. Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry if you're not a wine drinker. This is like totally not interesting to you. I'm not going to talk about wine the whole time. Um, but it's just funny that I've I've gotten into it from being home all the time in the past few months um with that said if you are a wine drinker please comment below what is one that i should try um i've tried butter i was that was the name of the one uh the name of the wine called butter it wasn't bad um again not one of my favorites that i've had but i think sometimes it really depends on uh, maybe some snacks or things you're eating at the time that will really bring out flavors because I think next time we're actually going to try to have popcorn and then eat and then try that butter flavor uh, and see if that really goes as well as we've heard. Um, but yeah, if you do drink wine, just kind of shoot me a message down below and tell me what your favorite one was and what you think I should try and I will try it. Uh, maybe in the next video, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, as I mentioned, mes I mentioned in my last um, video where I drew this one, 
or this page uh that this was inspired by the artist graffiti artist vex he's also on youtube he has some really incredible videos some really really colorful stuff that i love watching and he has really really good music on his stuff on his videos and um and i kind of just making a full page in my sketchbook which honestly i don't normally do it's not really a goal of mine to fill up a whole entire page with a single idea or um a whole like a fully realized idea so the fact that he mainly does doodles um is what i was trying to do here is kind of just marry a whole bunch of uh, doodles and and different things that would kind of go together i guess in a in a more cohesive way and then kind of using the blue color to kind of marry everything together um but yeah check him out because he's a really cool channel uh, a lot of subscribers <laughs> a lot of followers and um so jealous of that you know sometimes i really get really down about my art and down about being an artist because i start to wonder if you know i'm doing this because i've just always done it or doing it because i actually really want to do it sometimes i can't really tell anymore you know what the difference is um but i have my good days and my bad days i'm sure as many of you do i know a lot of artists watch my channel and watch me so i think we have that in common but it's difficult sometimes uh to like keep going and i've talked about this in some of my like struggling artist videos where it's kind of difficult to like find the motivation to like keep going when you know things aren't changing or things aren't going the way you imagine them to go but uh you kind of find the hope and the the motivation to keep going somewhere or sometime you know sometimes you're just down on yourself for no reason or for the wrong reasons and you find your way back which is usually where i find myself um lately as i've had more time to think i kind of wonder if it is if it really is my calling to be an artist or is it to just be creative at times in my life where i can you know scratch that itch you know and and get on with my day you know by doing something creative not necessarily like making art uh, i often think if i have anything to say uh, at all and and what <laughs> what do i say uh, just kind of thoughts that go through my mind and have been going through my mind especially when thinking about this channel and and showing my art to people on social media and what videos to make next and all this kind of like plays into you know how i see myself as an artist and especially an artist on social media i should say that comparison is a dangerous game to play and we should really only be comparing ourselves to the person we were yesterday and the skills that we had yesterday and there's always ways to improve and enjoy the process really Ooh, that's bright. You know, the main takeaway from that is just to not be so comparative and not compare yourself to other artists because everyone's on their own journey, which is very true and something that you have to keep in mind when you post work. So this is the part of the video where I'm probably going to be talking more in the video. Uh, so I'll kind of be in and out, you know, filling in the gaps. That's a little bit more muted. I have to say that sometimes I'm really curious how this whole internet thing and social media thing will play out in the long run. Um, considering like I've been doing art for a really long time, but I guess only been posting since maybe 2014 2013 or whatever and i'm kind of just curious as to where it's all going to lead or if it's going to lead where i want it to lead and how to get it there how to guide it <laughs> it's like you know i don't know if i'm doing all the right things or or what
paper is going to buckle really, really bad because it's just sketchbook paper and it's not really meant for painting on, especially with water. So, to bind it a little bit to keep it a little steady. I'm going to try not to saturate it too much or else it's going to break down. I can't help but get a uh, paint in my sketchbook. I always do it. The paper seems okay if you're careful enough. I know I've mentioned this before, but I go back and forth about what I really want this channel to be. You know, at first I want people to get to know me and I want people to become, become familiar with my art. Um, but sometimes I feel like as a beginning YouTuber, it's not such a great idea to be or have such grand ideas. So it's like a dark gray blue, but it looks like a totally different color on camera. <laughs> it's weird. So, of course, I wonder if I need to go the more popular route and do videos on challenges, which I think are fun. And I also honestly think they're fun to watch. Um, for some reason, I just feel weird about doing them or I feel like maybe sometime I'm pandering, you know, and I don't want to like pander to the audience and just like try to do things for views or whatever but i mean the honest truth is i want to grow my audience and i think these things would be fun so i don't know you can see it better in the sun is less glaring on it <laughs> you guys so like while I'm recording this and um, adding this audio to the video, I have um, one of my videos playing of my uh, my other sketchbook and chill video on the TV. I'm just laughing because I hear my phone going off in the video. Um, I don't know how that happened because I usually overlay video. I mean, I overlay audio. Um, over the video and I don't know how my phone is picking up the or I don't know how the I don't know what happened <laughs> I just hear me getting texts during the video that I didn't notice when I was editing it at first and so it's making me laugh I'm sorry I'm sorry if you watched that video and heard all those text message sounds and you know thought you were getting text messages but I'm like listening to it now and I keep thinking I'm getting messaged and I'm not and I'm like oh my god those those tones ringtones got picked up in the video but I don't know how I I put audio over it so it shouldn't have picked up the original audio should have been like overlaid so <laughs> I just think it's funny and I'm uh, sorry about that if you if you picked up on that in that video um but anyway I have a little bit before before the original audio kicks in again from this video. Uh, I've been getting really inspired as an artist to travel, um, just wanting to travel. The few places that I've been, like to Mexico, I've been to Mexico, Colorado, California, and to Disney World in Florida. And I think... Every time I go somewhere, it's so amazing how the trip affects me and inspires me uh, to like do better in my life because I want to be able to continue to travel and go places and be inspired by the world. Um, but I've been watching this channel. Uh, you probably heard of it. It's kind of it's been around for a, a while. Um, but about two best friends. It's called Damon and Joe. Ha <laughs> holler if you've heard of it before. <laughs> um, but I'm a recent um, subscriber and I've really gotten into uh, Damon's videos as he's been posting on his own channel too. And it's just been really inspiring me to want to go to Paris and want to travel the world in general. 
and be inspired by the world around me. And I feel like if if I'm able to do my art from anywhere, I want to be able to do that and take it with me on the road and and document my travels, you know, in art form. And I think it's it's so awesome to think that. And I, I don't think that I've had that idea before in my mind of wanting to be able to do that. So it's kind of affecting the way I'm thinking about my work these days. I think we're going to break out all the palettes. <laughs> Like, I'm just absolutely floored by the dream of, like, walking out of some Paris B&B and walking down to some cafe, you know, from where I'm staying and breaking out my sketchbook and drawing the architecture and being inspired by the statues and going to the Louvre. Like, oh, my God, I would die. <laughs> it just sounds so amazing and, like... Kudos to anybody who's been able to go and experience that because I feel like that's something that I really, really want to do in my life. And that idea, I think, just gets stronger and stronger. Like the idea that I want to be able to travel and like I want my my art to excel and propel me in a way that would allow me to do it from anywhere in the world and travel and inspire other people and meet other people and be inspired by just the world around me and i think it's something universal to many artists but specifically that idea just hasn't been solidified in my mind i think i've always wanted to travel but i never really knew that you know i would think about living in another country or having extended stays and watching Damon's videos it just seems so awesome to like be able to like speak other languages and stay in other countries and and experience that life and a life that's beyond what you know you've always known I mean personally I'm from a small town like I've being you know in Dallas Texas at this point that's my big city life you know like I've never wanted really much more uh in terms of just permanent living i've always wanted to travel but i've never wanted to live anywhere else but here you know like i like being close to my family i like being able to go home if i want to and i like the convenience of city life while not being too far from you know my hometown and so i think that as i grow older i realize i really want to travel the world and be able to see other lands and stay for a while you know because there's so many incredible people out there that you know you could potentially meet that you know it's life-changing and I think that's amazing um but yeah it's kind of one of the thoughts that's been pervading my mind recently and um it's something that I've been thinking about especially like during this time and in, in you know, when quarantine happened and I was thinking that, you know, what if, you know, you never actually get the chance? What if I didn't get the chance to travel because I wasn't able to go anywhere because of this? You know, like, it's, it'd be such a shame that I missed out, you know, on the opportunity when I had it before, you know. But I think that a lot of eye-opening things happened during this time. And I think... You know, if you're fortunate enough to be able to get through this time without any major hardships that, you know, you're lucky and you're blessed. And it's it's really awesome to be able to have this at the very least to be an eye opening experience for you. Um, <laughs> just a little bit more. We're just going to pretend that I don't really have to go to my day job tomorrow. <laughs> uh, gosh. Um, I think changes are coming soon. And I think that um, even having a day job will be, be easier. 
in the long run. It still scares me to have to go to work and be exposed to the virus and everything. And I don't know. And part of me just feels like I have to get through this right now. Thanks, man. Well, <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking. But I had to test some color on it first in digital to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. It helped a little bit, but. So like no joke, um, the more I drink of this wine, the more I don't taste how much I don't really like it. <laughs> Maybe it's starting to affect me now because in all honesty, you know, when I got home from work, I did not have dinner. <laughs> well, it was for fun, so... Not too big a deal if I make a mistake, and it, it is just for kind of playing. But still, I'm used to making those kind of mistakes in privacy. <laughs> and so it brings back to mind that like I've kind of had this running idea to have like a drink and draw I know some people that I um some people that I'm friends with that do it um but I kind of want to have like a I guess a gay version <laughs> of a drink and draw because I've seen that on on Instagram with some people that I follow some artists that I follow and I think it's really cool um idea that I want to try out just because it'd be cool a way to socialize as an artist and not really have to worry about I guess um, being too social, but also getting a chance to be creative. <laughs> and I, I think they'll just take off my life because they always cut live streams with copyrighted stuff in the background. Otherwise, if I was just painting, I would. Side note, did quarantine make me alcoholic, guys? I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Like, I don't really drink that much. I still don't. Like, I have a glass of wine every now and then. And only because it's here and I still have it and I want to finish it. So I just think that's kind of funny. Um, interesting little part of my life that's changed. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's not just him. It's any copyrighted music. <laughs> I can hear my neighbors. I feel like I always hear my neighbors. I don't know if they hear me. I don't feel like I talk very much. They may be concerned that I'm talking to myself. I don't care. Like, for real, though, that gets kind of annoying sometimes. Like, I just came into my kitchen to record this part because I heard myself talking about my neighbors. But, like, uh, I think just that the walls are too thin. And, like, sometimes I get nervous that they can hear me talking or, like, singing. Because sometimes I like to sing when I'm sitting at my desk. And I know for sure they probably hear my music playing every now and then. But... You know, I hear them all the time, and I feel like they make more noise than I do, and it's just annoying, and whatever. Not right now, no, but yes, a lot of times they are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I should have ordered a pizza when I got home. I'm like so hungry now and I'm standing in the kitchen and I want something to eat now. <laughs> That's what they call in the biz. 
an Easter egg. <laughs> For Easter. <laughs> I'm sorry guys that this video is kind of all over the place. Um, just trying to fill in the gaps of the original audio of this um, recording. And I don't know, it's kind of fun. Uh, trying to think of just random things to talk about. <laughs> I intended to put more letters and words in here. I just didn't think of it as I was actually doing it because this is supposed to be an exercise, you know, and I saw this YouTuber, his name is Vex, and he does doodles online all the time, and it inspired me to do the same. I mean, I draw anyway, but this particular type of doodles are like full page, like full page, um works that kind of like they're just good exercise and like it's basically randomness all over the page so like it doesn't it's really supposed to make sense but you can put things that make sense together it's just for fun um his stuff is more like graffiti style and like it makes sense with what he's doing like covering the whole page and making it very colorful and it makes sense when you see him do it but it's kind of hard to like do yourself because the randomness kind of throws me off. And side note, I tried to get one of my friends to go graffitiing, graffitiing with me one time until I didn't want to do it, but I thought I, I think it would have been so fun. But I think it's fun. I might try to do a live stream on YouTube one day. I don't have as many followers on there, but well, that's okay. Because I can still post the video once I'm done. And it'll just be like a video I can have on my channel already without having to worry about editing or anything. Yikes. Flashback to that. A mean commenter told me that I didn't have enough followers to do a live stream. Boo. I forgot that yesterday it was overcast a little bit more, so there wasn't as much sunlight at this time. Right now, there's like a lot. Even though it rained today. It also rained at the time of this editing, and it was really nice. Um, it came down really hard, and it made me really want a patio, like... I really tried to get a patio when I moved into my current apartment and it just it just wasn't happening. It wasn't in the stars and I miss it so much. I miss sitting out, you know, in good weather and in the rain and like just relaxing and enjoying nature and ugh, I gotta get my patio back. I am right now. I'm gonna put more warmer colors once I get all the blues in. Um, when I did this last night when i was playing with color i put a whole bunch of different colors and i didn't like it <laughs> like i like colorful things but like i don't know there was something i didn't do it right or something i don't know and so i kind of want to put more of a base color everywhere and then come back in with other colors and they'll pop more once the these darker colors are in Um, I don't know, something about it I didn't like. I'll post it online, the picture of the digital color, later, but it was okay. I didn't hate it, but it just wasn't, it, I didn't come out the way I wanted it to, so I, I can easily redo it. But right now, I can't redo this once I'm done, but I know, I know that I like blue, so if most of it's blue, then I'll probably be okay. <laughs> Blue is my go-to color, like y'all should already know. I still have like a whole video to do on my, all the blue shades I got from Daniel Smith. How are you doing with the quarantine? Are you quarantining at all? I know I've already said it. I want to go back. I am so over this schedule at my job. Like, 
you guys gotta help me i gotta get out of this situation um i need to be an artist full-time i need to like i need to do better that's it and it's so hard it's not as easy as some artists make it look on youtube it looks so fun and i love it but it's not easy on uh, my digital drawing yeah i use my phone and i have a stylus that works on my phone it's still not perfect um the stylus is supposed to i mean it does work but it's supposed to work better than it does and it doesn't so it's okay i mean eventually want to get an ipad anyway and it'll work just fine but they don't really make a lot of things that work with your phone a, a stylus might like a regular stylus might be better but i got like a fancy one and it's like it has issues doing um diagonal lines which i hear is a big issue but i work with it like i can still work with it it just it's not as, as helpful as i thought it was gonna be but yeah i do just stylus i used to use i i only recently got that and i used to use my finger and it was really hard to like color and draw on, on my phone just using my finger but I made it work still. I mean, it was alright. Anyway, I just got this really cool idea to put an edit on the screen so you know which me is talking right now. And I would still rather use a stylus right now than go back to using my finger because it, it's infinitely better with the stylus regardless of it messing up anyway. Like by the time you watch this, that edit is already going to be in place, so you're already going to see it. But I just wanted to mention that, you know, it's cool that I just thought of that. And, you know, I'm taking you on my journey in real time. <laughs> I don't think it's lagging for me. Like it, it marks just fine. But the problem is, is when like it'll make it'll make up and it'll make straight lines just fine. But when I try to make diagonal lines or curves or anything, Unless I do it really, really fast, which is hard to do when I'm trying to like take my time with the drawing, but it'll it'll make the line wavy instead of the way I drew it, and any other line comes out just fine the way I draw it. So like I have to keep turning the drawing around and around and around just so that whatever line I'm trying to make will be an up and down or horizontal line, so it'll come out right. It's just annoying, but like I guess it. I can get around the issue by just turning the drawing around until it makes a horizontal line, but <sighs> I hate that I spent so much money on it and like it didn't work the way I wanted it to. But it, like I said, it is still better than using my finger and I like that I can draw on my phone when I'm away. So it does serve a purpose or else I probably would have just returned it already. Indigo. <laughs> yeah, I hate the wavy lines. I apparently, like, I looked it up and it does it on a lot of things. And you can kind of adjust it. Like, there's a setting to adjust it a little bit. Um, let's see. I think it's when I'm on Procreate. And then uh, I have to go to... Gosh, what is it? It's like, I guess, within the brush settings, there's a, um, there's a, I can't think of the word. There's a word that says, it starts with an S, and it's supposed to, like, correct your lines as you're drawing them. So, it, it's also a little bit weird to use, because it, like, the computer kind of takes over when you make a line, and it does fix it a little bit, but even that's still not perfect still a little funky but it does help a little bit like I use that a few times when I get a little bit more frustrated but I think I sh would rather get an iPad I didn't know I talked so long about this stylus, but like, true story, it still gets on my nerves. I haven't used it again in a while, but yeah. Yeah, I was using Illustrator Draw too. That actually doesn't draw, I mean, that doesn't do it as bad, but it's not the, it doesn't, I can't use that for the kind of drawings I wanna use. Like, I need, I need a little bit more of a Photoshop 
type thing. But when I use my finger, it's fine. Like, it's just fine. The stylus is what the, it's like, it's communicating with the stylus that I think is slowing it down. But when I use the Illustrator Draw with my finger, it's perfect. I just have to like really, really zoom in, you know, to get lines. But at the same time, like, it doesn't come out the way I really want it to because I don't want to have to zoom in to get like the line I want. Dang, that was a lot of blue. I put a lot of blue in here. <laughs> That's okay. I'll let everybody be the judge of which one's better. The, the one I did digitally at this one because... I don't know. I was a little bit more random in my color choices on the digital version, so... I'm trying to be a little bit more reserved here. <laughs> this is what I classify as reserved. Like, just made me laugh, like, watching this back and calling this reserved. Um, I mean, I guess for me, it's reserved or whatever, but that's just funny. Just because, like, on here, I can't, I don't, I can't undo what I did. So if I'm reserved, it's a little okay. And digitally, I can go crazy if I want to because then it doesn't matter, but. I knew when I actually came to the physical drawing, it was gonna have to be a little bit more reserved so that I could like the result at the end. a lot of blue so we will hold off on the blue now and just put some other colors in no blue forever <laughs> just kidding for real though like on a real note watching this back i want to make a monochromatic piece i saw this really cool video where um, a few artists i follow on youtube did the monochromatic did i already talk about this i don't know i feel like i mentioned this already in this video already but if, i'm sorry if i did it again Listen, just bear with me, okay? I want to do the monochromatic piece. I want to do a few videos of video challenges. Maybe that's what I was talking about. I don't know. Just thank you for following along if you've been able to follow along this far. <laughs> but um, I, I, I think doing some of those challenges is really interesting and it, like is really good practice um, just in general for like sparking creativity and things like that. I think those are really cool challenges to do for artists. So you should try them out with me. The stream of consciousness that is going on in this video is insane. Like, I'm not going to go back and really try to find if I said something about this already. But um, I think it's really cool. And it's it's kind of fun. And and like I said, I know it's kind of all over the place. But um, I, think it's, I think it's a cool thing to do. And it's a fun thing to do to kind of go back and forth. Because I feel like I'm not alone in the editing process right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a little better. Okay. I mean, I kind of like the effect of the sunlight on there too, so, but nah. it's just overkill now, so. I said I was done with blue and here I am, picked it up again. <laughs> I was just notice, noticing things that I want to like put in. Okay, so, yes, I'm pouring another glass, but let me just fill you in. I fell asleep during editing, well, not during editing, but I fell asleep last night uh, editing this video, and now it is the next day, the next night, and I'm having another glass of wine, because honestly, it helped me sleep really well. I had a really good night's sleep, and I actually got up early. So we are nearing the end of the video, um, coming up in a few minutes, and I am going to take this time to thank the people who watch my videos pretty consistently. Thank you so much. You guys mean a lot to me. You girls, you guys. Um, I think that, like I said, it's really hard to do this, and 
keep it going. I've actually been on YouTube for a really long time, but I guess I I never did it as consistently as I'm doing now. And even then, you know, my schedule is all messed up. So I think it's really cool to like have people come back and want to watch what I'm doing and take part. And so for that, I want to make more engaging content with you guys. You know, I love it when you comment and let me know, you know, what you liked about the video or what you thought, your thoughts and um, giving me your feedback to my questions and things like that. I think that's really cool and it builds a really cool community as far as I'm concerned. So keep it up, please. Um, but yeah, today, um, like I said, it's the next day, but today I had shown, well, today I had uh, received a mention on Instagram from this model guy that I follow. I think he's a really good looking guy and he um, inspired me to draw this picture after he posted this like, this like random selfie or picture that he took and it was really cute and it made me think of like a fairy guy because he was wearing these like really cool colored sunglasses. So I was like, oh, that would be cool to make a fairy wearing sunglasses and kind of match the color. So I did that and I showed him a preview of it on Instagram and he put it on his story and mentioned me. And I thought that was really cool. Like gave me a shout out and I was like, wow, like I need to do more of this, like just to give myself exposure, you know, um, because at least then I'm not doing it all by myself. So I think that's a pretty cool idea and it was a fun thing to do anyway. But it felt really good to get a shout out like that. Just as good as it feels to have people, you know, give me feedback on Instagram or any of my social media that want more from me. And thank you guys. Just thank you. That's, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> um, I plan on keeping keeping this up for quite a while and I hope to do it a lot more I'm so envious of YouTubers who get to do this, you know, every day or, you know, as often as they want. And I think it's that's my goal is to be able to produce content, you know, and, and still be able to support myself somehow. And I'll figure that part out. But I don't want to stop, you know, producing content and getting better at doing this. And I thank you guys for being with me along this journey. It is a long journey, it's been a long journey, and we still have a long way to go, but thank you. So with that said, um, uh, the video is gonna cut off right here. Um, this is actually as far as I got in this original recording of this video. And if you guys like this one, please leave a like. Please leave me a comment at what you thought or just feedback or, you know, whatever you want to tell me in the comments is great. And if you like this enough, I will continue to do this piece. I'll do another one where maybe I'll talk a lot more. I don't know. You know, we'll figure it out. But um, I really enjoyed editing this time. This was kind of cool. And editing is usually a, a really big chore for me. It's my least favorite thing to do. But it is part of the it's part of the journey. Here we go with the digital. I did this digitally. Um, this was like a picture I took of the black and white lines, and I digitally colored this. What do you think about this? I like it and I don't like it. I like how colorful it is, but I also think that it's kind of scattered. I love the tentacles, the way I did those there. Um, I didn't actually look at the digital while I was painting the one on my sketchbook, so. I probably could have mimicked some of the stuff I was doing digitally, but I wasn't actually looking at it. Uh, I didn't want to like be too heavily inspired by it, but tell me what you think in the comments, what you think is better, and if you want to do another one like this. But for now, I'll see you later. And thank you for watching.